following video will provide detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how best to treat and manage your dormitory rooms with the world's most effective bed bug killer and preventer, Stop Bugging Me Max. Please follow the steps closely and remember that anyone can be trained to treat and search for bed bugs. The important thing is to be thorough in your search and consistent with your reapplication. Step 1. Room Inspection. Estimated time, 15 to 20 minutes. Inspect rooms regularly for bed bug activity. To conduct a thorough inspection of the space, it is crucial to know what bed bugs look like and where they're hiding. Adult bed bugs are reddish brown, flattened, oval, and wingless. Newly hatched nymphs are translucent and become brown with age. Eggs appear as gray specks that adhere to a surface by a sticky substance. Bed bug activity may be seen by spotting small spots of blood on the bottom of sheets, tiny brown spots, transparent or white egg clusters, or light brown bed bug skin casings. First, clean the room of all clutter. Second, strip the sheets and examine the bedding. Follow along the seams, tufts, and folds of the mattress and or box spring. Search the bed frame. Look in screw holes, cracks, crevices, and corners for both lone adults and bed bug clusters. Now move to the other furniture in the room. This includes headboards, footboards, sofas, chairs, wardrobes, desks, refrigerators, footrests, etc. Remove all drawers, cushions, and trays. Mimic the bed search by examining the corners, screw holes, cracks, and crevices of all furniture, fixtures, and equipment in the room. The final locations to examine are the trim, walls, and closet space. Run along the molding, carpet edge, hanging rack, picture frames, mirror edges, and any other extremities in the room. Remember, effective treatment is succeeded through diligent search methods. Step 2. Prepping the Stop Bugging Me Max Sprayer. Remove cap from container and replace with sprayer hose and cap assembly. Tighten securely. Turn sprayer nozzle one half turn counterclockwise. Hold sprayer below the level of container and prime by pumping trigger three to six times until product is dispensed. Adjust nozzle to fine spray or jet stream as needed. To store, turn nozzle to off position and store with sprayer above level of liquid in container to prevent leakage. Step 3. Treating the room with Stop Bugging Me Max, 15 to 20 minutes. Proper preventative treatment of a dorm room should include an application of Stop Bugging Me Max to all bed bug prone areas. For those rooms already infested with bed bugs, proper treatment should include a thorough application of Stop Bugging Me Max to all bed bug prone areas, bed bug infested areas, and all inspected areas. Apply a wet spray of Stop Bugging Me Max to all suspect areas. As a surface spray, apply product in an even damp coating. For already infested rooms, first spray directly on insects, next on all suspect areas, and finally on all areas inspected. The product is non-staining on laundry safe fabrics and hard surfaces. Spray product until surface is damp, but do not saturate or over spray. If the room is occupied, Ask the student if there are any non-washable possessions that should be avoided in treatment. Start with the beds. Position linens in a space that allows you to fully and thoroughly spray the entire surface with Stop Bugging Me Max. There is no need to saturate the surface. Once dry, service all linens and laundry safe items. If available, it is advised to service these items with Stop Bugging Me Laundry Additive. Apply spray to the now bare mattress, box spring, and bed frame. Spray all wood, metal joints, 
including those on headboards and footboards. Make certain to cover completely without saturation. Be sure to target tufts, folds, seams, cracks, corners, holes, and crevices with a wet spray. Only when the spray has dried on the mattress can linens treated with Stop Bugging Me Max and or Stop Bugging Me Laundry Additive be used to dress the bed. Do not allow students or personnel to use treated linens that have not been fully laundered. If bugs are already present, take extra care to target the infested areas first to ensure a quick kill, then follow up with the preventative steps previously mentioned. Now treat the entire trim of the room, including crowning and edge of carpet with a thorough wet spray. In the summer months, when the heat is off, spray in and behind heat registers with steam heat. Do not spray product into electric space heaters. Be sure to also spray the following areas. Under bed, rugs, drawer slides, wood joints in drawers, behind furniture, including cabinets and beds, sofas, chairs, tables, in the closet and target cracks, crevices, hanging rods, and corners of the space. Cushions on sofas and chairs should be vacuumed following treatment. Any suspect areas left untreated should be sprayed with Stop Bugging Me Max to ensure proper treatment. Try and coordinate Stop Bugging Me Max treatment to follow after regular carpet cleaning, shampooing. Keep all students and staff out of the treated area until the spray has completely dried. For further information on treating other insects or pests, please refer to the Stop Bugging Me Max label for details. Stop Bugging Me Max remains to be the most effective killer and preventer of bed bugs, but also takes the help of a diligent, detailed process. Congratulations on taking the proactive approach. Your students and staff will thank you.